Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Hopcast. Kevin here, and um, today I have a beer review from Hop Butcher for the World, Beef Dipped. It's kind of an interesting name. Uh, you can see the cow on the front there uh, is like half being dipped in something or other. Um, so a little bit of backstory on this beer. Hot Butcher uh, comes from the Chicago area, and if anyone has been to the Chicago area, you know they love their Italian beef. Um, I don't know if that was a, like a play on an Italian accent, but uh, that was the best I got. So this beer is actually some bit of a nostalgia uh, factor thrown into it. They love remembering the Italian beef just dipped uh, in sauce and just... I don't know if you guys have ever had Italian beef, but if you haven't, please give it a chance when you have one. Uh, it's pretty dang good. So this is a Simcoe hopped double India Pale Ale. Um, it's 7.5% alcohol by volume. Now, I've... I don't know. I love this can, by the way. I love the, the red with the yellow writing on it. I think it looks really sharp. Um... I've had experience with Simcoe hops as a home brewer, and from my experience, Simcoe can be really dank and tasty, or it can uh, taste <laughs> it could taste like cat pee. There's like really no in between. Um, and then the longer that Simcoe sits in a beer and kind of goes bad um, over time you kind of get some of that dankness mixed with the cat pee, and it's not a good combination to have. Uh, so let's get into the flavor profile here. On the back, one nice thing that Hot Butcher does is they uh, detail the tasty notes. So this says ripe berry, dank greens, and sweep, sweep, sweet grapefruit. So we'll see. I, I don't know if it tastes like any of those things. Uh, I had this when they released it a while ago, but this is the re-release, so we will see how it tastes. Let's get crack a lacking. Super dank. I actually get some of that berry now. Ripe berry. I didn't even... It's really big on the nose, but definitely good. I got my sweet Mega Man glass here. Let's pour this and see what it looks like. Come on. Beautiful pour. If I don't say uh, anything else, just know that it's a beautiful pour. All right. Gosh, my nose itches. I don't know what the heck's going on. So, coming right out of the can here, let's give it a sniff. Beautiful color, by the way. Um, just like most of their beers, very murky. Not quite like orange juice, maybe a little off color from orange juice, but very murky, very hazy. I kind of broke stride there. I went right into the taste. Oh, I don't know what got into me there, guys. I couldn't help myself. Um, the smell, very piney, uh, very dank smell. I get the berry a lot on the smell. Uh, the, the taste is just an explosion of uh, dank. They said dank greens. It's actually pretty accurate. Uh, lots of pungent grapefruit on the back end bitterness from the grapefruit mm. that's tasty not a whole lot of overpowering hot blast but granted they said that i don't know if this is only simcoe Smells really good coming out of the can. I don't know if it's only Simcoe, but if it's only Simcoe, I can't really get much else unless they use something else for bittering. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm not really getting anything else. 
One thing I will say is there's almost a, there's virtually no head on this beer. I don't know if it's because it's so cold. Uh, I did turn my fridge up. I know in a couple videos I said that my uh, the beer was a little colder than I'd like it to be. So I did turn the temperature up. Uh, it was at like 39 degrees. I think we're up to 44 or 45 degrees. So should be better for the IPAs and the stouts. That's a good beer, I will say. Still not much on the nose, though, other than that, the berry and some dankness. Pillowy mouthfeel. Just slick. It goes down so easy. 7.5%, but you might have to watch yourself, uh, you guys. This is, it's pretty silky smooth, this beer is. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Very, very good. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Quick video today. This is a uh, this is a good one. It says twenty five on the bottom of the can. I don't really know why. But uh, what's my verdict? Well, again, another smell. Yeah, just piney, dank, pungent aroma coming from the hops. Such a great smell. That's a tasty beer. And it really does give quite a bit of bitterness from the grapefruit on the back end. A little more than their other beers do. And never, that's a characteristic of Simcoe that I've never really drawn out that much before. Uh, I've never done a straight up Simcoe hopped uh, beer, but you know, who knows? Um, so I would say that the, the for a Simcoe hopped beer, just Simcoe, which I'm assuming that's what this is, they did a nice job. Uh, I would give this a 4.25 out of five. Um, not my favorite hop butcher beer. I think probably uh, Double Grid, Green Moss. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones that I like. I do like Tavern Cut. Uh, those would probably be a little bit better in my book, but this is still a quality beer. Uh, any way you shape it. Any way you shape it. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to do it for me today here on the Hopcast. Remember, if you like this video and you want to see more from me at the Hopcast, Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more awesomeness and smash that bell for notifications. Uh, on top of that, uh, remember to follow me on other sorts of social media, untapped, Instagram, Twitter. I'm on all those. Uh, and I always I will leave a description of those below. Uh, anyways, this is Kevin from the Hopcast signing off. I'll catch you later.